What is up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode of Our 6D Journey. My name is Luke Hez, and I'm here to help us build healthy relationships. Oh, wow. I feel like I have not been here on this channel or inside of the sixth dimension <laughs> for a while. Um, you know, I had this really beautiful trip to Colorado Springs again this year. Uh, went last year, the week that COVID started. And we went back a year later and some days, because, you know, it's all about lining up. But we went, you're, you're back in some days, a couple. And totally different experience. Felt woken up to my connection with nature again. My connection with wanting to leave my, my little circle and bubble of safety and security and going somewhere else. And, you know, there was, there was a lot of waves that happened for a lot of people during COVID. And there was times of acceptance, excitement. Oh, it's something different. Oh, I'm gonna get all this stuff done. Then there were times when I felt fearful and didn't really know what was really going on. And any of the conspiracy theories I'd ever heard in my entire life came brewing to the front. And I was like, is this it? <laughs> so much. Um, and when I was in Colorado, I just felt this sense of relief. And ever since I got back, I've really been communicating a sense of faith and trust and optimism for the next step forward for us and for all of us. And I felt it also kind of brewing around me. There was a lot of hostility over the last year. There was so much hostility <laughs> between friends, between family, between people you don't know, between coworkers, between people that work at places, between homeless people, between people on television saying things you do not agree with. <gasps> hostility. <laughs> so much. So and here I am. It's 2.22, just changed, 23 in the afternoon. On March 29th, 222 has been a big number for me over the last like two months. It was already popping in, me seeing it all the time. <laughs> like having my account balance at my bank go 2022, wait, yeah, 2022.22. 2022. And me going, that's a lot of twos. So you're going, you're exiting on 222. 2. Oh man, what times I need to work soon? 222. 2, 2. It was just everywhere, several times a day. And that, that energy of just being in flow again, and I felt the flow show up. And it was, there was still this sense of not knowing what was going on or what was happening and what was happening with the relationships in my life. Like my, so many of my relationships have completely and totally shifted, dissolved, or disappeared in the last year. Um, you know, we never really know who someone is until we are in a certain type of situation with them. On the way to Colorado, my fiance and I are driving and we get to this town and all of a sudden there are these little flurries. I mean, almost none at the gas station and it's late. It's like three in the morning, two in the morning and we're driving to Colorado because we want to go overnight because there's less traffic and then we want to get there early, like three or four and then sleep. We're literally an hour and a half away flurries and I, <laughs> I said to him maybe we should just park here let's check the map so we check the radar on the map and supposedly where we're going is like there's like four colors in the storm it's like the lightest and the next lightest color except for like five or ten minutes so I was like it's fine let's go ahead and drive he says it's fine let's go ahead and drive through so then I say all right yeah it's fine let's drive through <laughs> 30 minutes in, we're caught in a blizzard, can't see six feet in front of us, calling the emergency place. I'm freaking out, having a panic attack and about to die. Literally, I did not know I was capable of that, that, fear, that much fear. When, you, when you're totally out of control, you can't see where you're going. We're on a highway at this point. There's other people. And we had had that wreck thing in January where like someone like went over on the side of a toll, toll road and then like 130-something car pile up. So PTSD is strong at this point. <laughs> He says, I don't want you driving. If you feel that freaked out, let's switch seats. And he just took over. And he's younger than me. And I have trust issues with letting people direct, even guide the car to the shopping center where we're going. I like to drive. <laughs> the car, the body, the people. And he just took over. And it, 
it was this moment that I came to him that I realized I trusted him. And it was something that had been missing in a lot of things for a while. And all of a sudden I found trust in someone in my life again. And it made me feel complete. There was this feeling of completion and I had learned a lesson about relationships and about myself and that COVID was such an awesome opportunity for me. It was, it became, uh, I feel centered again. I feel like I remember what it is that I value and what it is I think. And you know, when we're out and about with lots of people and we're constantly interacting with others, yes, there's the physical conversation you're having with your voices and your ears, but there's the conversation with their body language, which can be subconscious or directly related to what they're talking about or their eyes and what it is that they're speaking about, how they feel today. But then underneath all of that, is the energy, the psychic awareness of just knowing, your clear cognizance of knowing where those people are. And we were all so wrapped up in each other's lives in a physical way and having to back it all up, having to not share the same air with people, having to really center. I think the reason why most of us were so scared over COVID is because we weren't centered in ourselves. So being forced to go inside of a house where you can't go anywhere, or see anyone or get any other interaction besides what's in front of you. And even though it's a medium, right? This is a medium right now. This isn't hundred percent real. You can be here energetically, but you're not getting the live version. It's different. And I'm just so thankful that we learned all these lessons. Okay, now the next thing is that when I do my psychic calls, I shuffle my Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck. And as I'm shuffling, I'm thinking about everyone coming in in that order for the day. And today mine was, I welcome the angels. I welcome today. I welcome my angels. Guide what I say. And that was my prayer. I unfold them, had all the readings of the ones I've done so far today and then the one I drew for this video because this is a reading we're getting a reading right now is completion I'm gonna zoom this out put it on the actual video so inside of our book completion says we're opening up we should have been more prepared sorry completion he was raised in an orphanage and never wore new boots until he enlisted in the army in 1942 by the end of the war he was a decorated veteran and had survived what many of his brothers had not. Later, he became an author and an actor. He was well-loved. But history will remember him as a war hero. When he was finally laid to rest, goddess smiled upon him as she received him into the heavens. The inspiration for this card is this is a reminder to cherish all the beauty in your life, including endings. That fits what I said. <laughs> Reflect upon your part in history and discover what you value most. That's also what I said. <laughs> Do not fear completion. Embrace it. The personal inquiry is, am I present in the moment? Are we? How do I respond to the idea of completion? The key ideas here are honoring your legacy a natural ending to a grand adventure. Ooh, I like that one. A new beginning on the horizon. Also like it. <laughs> All this newness, yellow, orange, mm, orange creativity and yellow power. A new adventure and honoring those who give to us. The key words here are achievement, determination, and fulfillment. All right, now, as the person watching the video, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to allow all your feelings about endings and closure to come to you, whatever they may be. How do you define an ending? What is closure? Do you fear them or do you rejoice in them? In a moment, open your eyes and do some journaling to find clarity here. So it's been a day. It's been a day and this is our first video back and God knows how long. And by the way, completion, was on top of victim. How ironic is that? Victim. No. <laughs> Victor. All right, guys. Talk to you later.